typically an electrical element that's designed to generate heat and it gets inserted directly into a, uh, into a paint line. A higher temperature to dispense at, higher than what a typical room temperature would be, so you don't have to worry about cooling. Um, additionally, if there isn't a, a huge premium on quality or consistency, because it's going to vary quite a bit, not necessarily because the temperature of the element will vary, but because of where you have to place it in the dispensing process, it'll be, it's harder to get those closer to the point of dispense. Typically, if you're dispensing at a temperature that's kind of outside of what a normal room temperature would be in a plant, um, because you're heating up, it doesn't have the ability to cool. So if it uh, is a higher temperature and you don't need cooling, that can work well. Additionally, if the consistency isn't that important, you know, you're not talking about a class A finish on a, a car, for example. Primary draw, drawbacks of an inline heater is you often need cooling. So a lot of the materials that, that we see that get dispensed, they're made to dispense around room temperature. Um, so sometimes it's warmer, sometimes it's cooler. And if it gets warmer, um, you can't cool. That's one of the big drawbacks. The other one is um, they typically operate as either on or off. So if you have a, a pause in the fluid flow, so if this heater is on and the flow stops for whatever reason, either there's a break or a pump goes down, it doesn't know to turn off and it will just sit there and they say cook, they call it cook the material. It'll actually cure right on the electrical element. And when that happens, you're, you're pretty much throwing it out and replacing it.